Today, we will be discussing high serum creatinine levels in a simple and easy to understand way. When your doctor tells you that your serum creatinine levels are high, it's natural to wonder what's going on. Creatinine is a crucial marker for kidney function, and its levels can rise due to various reasons. Let's explore some common causes. Kidney conditions. Conditions like acute or chronic kidney disease can lead to elevated creatinine. This could be due to long-term issues like hypertension hypertension or diabetes damaging your kidneys over time. Dehydration. Sometimes something as simple as not drinking enough water can cause your creatinine levels to spike. This is because dehydration reduces blood flow to your kidneys. Blockages, obstructions in your urinary tract like kidney stones can hinder kidney function and increase creatinine levels. Medications, certain drugs including NSAIDs like ibuprofen, blood pressure medications, and some antibiotics can affect your kidneys and raise creatinine. Muscle damage. In rare cases, significant muscle damage from conditions like rhabdomyolysis can release substances that elevate creatinine. There are specific signs that suggest your kidneys are under serious stress and require immediate medical attention. Reduced urine output. Oliguria or anuria, where you're producing little to no urine, can be a sign of acute kidney issues. Rapid increase in creatinine. A significant rise in creatinine, like more than 50% in 48 hours, is alarming and could indicate acute kidney injury. Severe systemic disorders. Conditions like sepsis or vasculitis can severely impact kidney function. Complications of kidney injury. Symptoms like severe hyperkalemia, high potassium levels, fluid overload, or uremia are critical and need urgent care. To understand the root cause of your elevated creatinine levels, your doctor will likely order several tests. Kidney function tests. These include measuring your EGFR, estimated glomerular filtration rate, to assess how well your kidneys are filtering waste. Urinalysis. This test test examines your urine for abnormalities like protein or blood, which can indicate kidney damage. Blood tests, apart from creatinine, tests for electrolytes, blood, urea, nitrogen, and a complete blood count can provide more insights. Imaging tests, an ultrasound or CT scan can visualize your kidneys and urinary tract for any blockages or structural abnormalities. Kidney biopsy. In some cases, a biopsy is necessary to determine the exact nature of the kidney damage. Be sure to follow up with your healthcare provider for the next step.